Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. And today is the last weekday with our kids home, at least for uh, about a week. Because <laughs> I think like next week they have like Friday off for some teacher work day or something. But tomorrow is going to be um, productive. A productive day, maybe. I don't know. I feel like we're going to go and enjoy a little bit of alone time, maybe thrift or whatever. But uh, make sure you check out tomorrow's video for that stuff. But we're going to start pulling stuff that sold for us today. I'm going to turn it over to Kathy, and we'll get going. Hey, friends. I did want to say thank you to Diana, who bought us a coffee. There was no message, but thank you so much, Diana. Yeah, Diana, thank you so much for that support. If you guys would uh, like to support us by buying us a coffee, that's just to help support. Speaking uh, of, our, I'm going to actually take us a <laughs> Help support our Starbucks habit, and it does help support the YouTube channel here. We do appreciate that. There is a link down in our description, and that's where you can just buy us a coffee. And that's, that's all that is. So <laughs> just helps us keep the channel going. Yeah. And buy coffee. Yeah, and <laughs> so keeps our bodies going with energy. energy. <laughs> yeah. It's probably going to shut our bodies down. Right. <laughs> All right. Um, so at the end of the video, we're going to show you what all well, this is, but yeah, it's kind of in my way right now. Yeah, good stuff here. Yeah. All right. BH. All right. I actually just accepted an offer on this. It's a Patagonia baby, so it's Pataloha. Oh, is Patagonia, that what they call baby stuff? They call, no, it's just like they have a specific line that's called oh. Pataloha stuff. Okay. It's I don't think this was linen, but it's just more of like the breathable like fabrics and stuff. Like more islandy kind Hawaii, of stuff. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, so yeah, this was a little baby romper. I paid two ninety nine for it. I definitely could have got more, but I again I'm trying to accept offers that are reasonable. And I felt it was reasonable. I got a twenty dollar offer. Okay. I know I could have got 25 to 30 plus shipping if I would have held out. This was on Posh, so they did pay, you know, seven something in shipping, whereas if they bought it on eBay, I could have shipped that for like $3. Right. So they're all in probably close to 30 bucks with shipping and tax and everything. So that's kind of where my mind was at on that one, even though I could have got more. The buyer is still paying a, yeah. a good amount for one little baby romper. So. And I'm still profiting about $13, which I'm happy with. Yeah. No sense in holding out for four or five more dollars. And that will fit nicely in one of these cute little boxes. Foldy box. Yeah. Official name. <laughs> All right. Um, still haven't put this box of things away, and I think I sold two or three things out of here, so let me just grab those out. Tomorrow, maybe, <laughs> when the kids are at school. Okay, so that. I have a feeling it's going to take us a few days to get used to... <laughs> Just back to Being, normal. Yeah, full grinding. It's tough. When you, I mean, we had one viewer uh, comment that she's a single mom, multiple kids. <laughs> home, I think she homeschooled and she's resells. And man, bless your guys' hearts. I, that's that's insane. We have a hard time <laughs> enough. And there's two of us here. You know, our kids are pretty pretty well off. Like they can keep themselves busy for a good amount of time, you know. And we just get the guilt of, oh, but we should be playing. <laughs> like that's how I feel all day. I'm like, man, I got to do a little work. But really, I just want to go play a game or do something. Yeah. But it's like if I wasn't doing this, I'd be doing a real, like going to a job. Yeah. You know? It's not like I can't not work at all. <laughs> so right. either I do this here where they're here, they can come up, ask questions, do whatever. I can yeah. help them do whatever they need. Throw this back in, or I have to go get a real job. So <laughs> it's basically this is better still. It's just you still feel guilty for not yeah. spending every waking second doing what the kids want to do. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I sold three things out of the box I haven't put away yet. So yay. Uh, first one was this Adidas. It's just like a men's golf polo. Vest. Oh, vest. Yeah. Polo vest. Look, so, okay. Like a quarter zip. Yep. And it had the River Creek Country Club or whatever that was. Cool. So, yeah. Um, I just really like selling golf stuff. I thought it would do well. It was only $4. I sold it for 20 plus shipping on Facebook Marketplace. I do price stuff a little lower on there just because the fees are low and I like the fast sale. Yeah. But I had it priced around 25 plus ship on all the other platforms and it probably would have sold for that eventually. But again, rather have the faster flip and the lower fee. Yeah, we also like Facebook. Well, maybe not like like, but we I ha I'm very bullish on Facebook. I think it's going to be a big um, reselling platform 
in the future, maybe yeah. the next three to five years could possibly <laughs> even overtake eBay. So we're just kind of like, we like to spread our eggs amongst many baskets so that, you know, if one platform shuts down, we have backups, right? So that's- I'm really hoping one day these platforms will all just make international shipping. Yeah. Like Facebook, every, everyone think, has Facebook. I think Facebook might be the next one to do international. If they can figure out how to do the shipping to where we can yeah. ship everywhere, that would be amazing. Yeah. But. So that's right. that's kind of why we we <laughs> stick on Facebook because it does yeah. have its growing pains. It's, I mean, it's, I made a couple sales there in the last day, but some days, the last month, I feel yeah. like I've made hardly any sales. Whereas a few months before that, I was like almost right. all my sales were coming from there. So, yeah, definitely don't put all your eggs in one basket. Right. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> so hey, I mean, it, it, a lot of people. There are benefits to it. Obviously, you could list more if all yeah. I'm doing was let's say eBay. I could get a lot more listings up. But yeah. what if? I get a V-roll and my whole account shuts right. down for a week. That would stink. Um, yeah. So. So we try to that's diversify. To think about, yeah. <laughs> we're all we're always taught to diversify your investments, and that's, you know, yeah. that's kind of why we diversify our platforms. All right. I sold this Tipsy Elf sweater. It's just the American flag. Um, I actually cool. bought this for myself, but I thought it looked funny, so I relisted <laughs> it. And um, it sold for fifty dollars on Posh, which was my full list price. I actually bought it off eBay a couple weeks ago. I was all in twenty seven oh seven, so I'm still making about twelve thirteen dollars profit off that. Okay. So yeah, that was awesome, and the, it did sell full price. But the three hours on that have passed. I can ship that out today. I'll probably okay. ship it. And if you're wondering what <laughs> she's talking about with that three hours, Poshmark has this kind of, I don't even know if it's unwritten or just not very well known, but Poshmark, if somebody pays full price, meaning like you didn't send them an offer and they accept it or they didn't send you an offer, if they just outright bought it, yeah. Poshmark gives that buyer three hours to cancel basically no questions asked, right? Yep. So. And what does that mean to you? you drop the price. So, like, if it's closet clear-out day and they, you drop your price and then they buy it at your dropped price, you have to wait the three Still hours. Still considered too. a full-price yeah, sale. Not a, an you offer. didn't directly offer that to them. Yeah. So, just make sure that well, what we do in that case is we hold off on shipping. So, if that means they bought it an hour before we go take our deliveries yep. to the post office, we ship it out the next day. Yeah. All right, and then this was the other thing from that bin. These are, so this is something when we did our inventory that we had in a box. I remember photographing these at some point, but for some reason they never got listed and I don't have the photos anymore. So mm -hmm. had to re-photograph them, but they sold it a day after I got them listed. So those would have sold a long time ago. Right. Um, but yeah, I paid $5.99 for these. They're just some Nike Vapor Knit athletic shorts and I sold them for $25.76 plus shipping. So. Nike shorts right. are really good bread and butter. They always sell fast and for usually at least 20 bucks. So yeah, um, those will ship out in a poly mailer. Alrighty, let me do this one last. This is a viewer, but it's about five items. So I wanna pull those okay. at the end. All right, A, B. Where'd Reese go? He snuck out, he was snoozing and he, it's funny, he sees us pull up the camera and <laughs> he starts acting weird. He does. <laughs> He might be expecting a raise or something, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this sale is another Patagonia item. These are some girls size baggy shorts and that's just the Patagonia name for these. They're just like nylon, kind of like a board short or swim short. Um, but yeah, I bought these off Facebook Marketplace for 10 when I got, when they had free shipping and then I sold them back on Facebook Marketplace for 25 plus shipping, so. <laughs> wow. That was awesome. And I'm gonna ship those out in one of these mailers. And then AY, so this is another Poshmark sale where it has not been three hours yet, but was a full price. Right. So what we do typically do is we will pack it up just because. Yeah, now by the time, I mean, if we go to post office at normal time, it'll be three hours. So yeah. Which I probably will, will wait. So. Right. We just try to make it a, a conscious effort of not yeah. handing it over yet. All right. So this item is some Michael Kors shoes. They did sell again full price, $29. Um, I had $5.99 into those, so. Those ones sat a while. Michael Kors is not, definitely not something I usually pick up. I only picked those up because $5.99 felt like a good price for shoes, so. I don't know if I'd pick them up again, though. Right. All right, uh, BC and those, yeah, we do have to wait, although it'll probably be the three hours, and I think those will ship out in. 
you did on A box. Okay, box B, C. Alright, so one of these is Brooks. So Brooks is the running shoe brand, but they also do clothes, so this is just a shirt by them. I bought this retail arbitrage for five. I did let it go on best offer. So someone offered 16. That was my low amount. Like I remember putting because I said all the accept or decline, so right. I don't ha have to actually do it myself manually. Um, so yeah, my low price on this was 16 and somebody got it for 16. So I am happy with that. And yeah, so five into 16 plus shipping, retail arbitrage though. So that, I, I think that's a good margin. Yeah. Um, and I did have one more of them. So I only had to do one listing for two and it's about a $8 or so profit. So even if the other shirt is as well, that's $16 for, one listing and easy shipping and everything, so. Right. All righty. Um, and then this is our viewer sale going out to Ellen. She bought five items from us. Right. My goodness, Ellen. Thank you so much for that support. So CX. See what you got. And C8. that Ellen got from us. One was this lazy one, um, just like a men's boxer short. They are new with tag. Got an Oshkosh overall. And these are the brand Wind, which is kind of like a shape up. They're like a nice leather walking shoe. And, and then a Doc Martin slide sandal. I thought those were cool. I, I'm really surprised those didn't sell sooner. I actually got a ton of offers on those a while back and they were just like wanting them for like 20 to $30. And I just, <laughs> the comps were a lot more than that. So I never accepted any of those, but I'm very happy to send them off to a viewer then. Yeah. Um, and then this is just a little gator ride on that I bought for our kids, but we never used it cause we just don't have anywhere yep. to use it. Pools are hard to get a, a hold yeah. of in Colorado. And like <laughs> even like lakes or creeks yeah. or anything. Just, so yeah, um, the amount I have into all this stuff total is about so $27, 32 is okay. about what I have into it. Ellen offered me 110 so I was very happy with that. Um, I did know when she made the offer that, so we keep all of the weights of our items in our spreadsheet. So I was able to, even though I wasn't like close to my computer, I just pulled it up on my phone. I was able to figure out total how much this all weighed and it was about eight pounds. So mm -hmm. I knew I was gonna have to, you know, pay the extra three pounds, right. which I was happy to do because $110 is a great sale. I was already making $88 off the bundle, mm -hmm. not including what my cost of goods was, but so to take another, I think it was 12, 13, whatever, 450 times three is whatever. So anyways, I did want to note that just because right. if you're new to Posh or thinking about selling on Poshmark or something like that, first, make sure if you're listing anything over five pounds, you're prepared to pay for extra shipping. Or if you're just accepting bundle offers, make sure you kind of think about that before you accept. Right. And what else? Oh, just in case it's 10 pounds that That's over don't the limit. list anything over right. 10 pounds to begin with. But, right. Um, yeah, you can't really send anything more than 10 pounds. I feel like I've heard people say they went to the post office and paid extra on top of the already 10 pound, but right. I just, we've never really done anything yeah, with that. So we can't speak to that. <laughs> people, I don't, I don't think I sell anything that heavy really. I mean, right. I guess we have the Burton snowboard and stuff that are over, but those are not listed on posh for that reason. Basically. Right. So. All right. So yeah. That's so thank you, sold. Ellen, for that support. We do appreciate it, Definitely. and hope you enjoy <laughs> all the fun stuff. The yeah. I'm jealous you get to use the the little crocodile <laughs> or, or crocodile. One day maybe. <laughs> well, our kids are probably too big now. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna get this stuff packed up, and then we'll go over some stuff that Kathy found real quick with you guys. Okay. <laughs> 
Take a load off, Reese. He worked hard. He didn't walk all the way up the stairs two times. <laughs> we got everything all packed up. We do have that one marked. I put a little star on it. I'm not going to show you just so I don't zoom up on the label. But yeah. And I checked. Um, it's been at least over two hours, and it's 3 p.m. right now, our time, and we usually leave to the post office around 4. Yeah. If we're not late, which we always are, but <laughs> they close at 4.30. So if we go at 4, it'll be the three hours if they haven't canceled. So. Right. Usually, I have had people cancel, but it's usually within the first few minutes. If it goes longer than that, I haven't really had people cancel. They usually are just like... Yeah. Okay. So, what'd you get? You went thrifting last night. This is all stuff you found last night? Yeah. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it all. Well, other than like two clothing pieces, but... um. I didn't say sizes or anything. Okay. Really like what necessarily stuff would sell for. So yeah, I'll just go kind of quickly, not necessarily like a haul, but yeah, these are some Keens, women's 10 and a half. Um, these will probably sell around $40 plus shipping. You were sourcing, oh, probably about I said it was two about or three, three hours. hours. Three hours, yeah. yeah. So I dropped at the post office and then it was like, by the time I got to the first thrift, it was almost 6 o'clock, and all the thrifts closed at 9. Well, mm -hmm. some closed way before that. Right. All the ones I went to closed at 9, so, yeah. And one of them I went to was kind of far up, but that's where I found the most shoes, so it was worth the drive, yeah. but that kind of made it harder to get to more stores. Yeah. But I'm glad I drove up there. And these are Merrill Barefoots. I love selling barefoot shoes, any brand, pretty much, but... These usually sell 35 to 40 plus shipping. Uh, these are Nike Kids, the Team Hustles. These will probably sell 25 to 30 plus shipping. So not huge money, but if they don't sell, my son can wear them. I do like always finding them shoes at the thrift because these were $8.99, which is a lot. I'd, I wouldn't normally pay that much for a kid pair of shoes I'm going to flip, but he'll fit these within the next year right. probably. And $8.99 for a pair of Nikes that are... I mean, I would wipe them down, but otherwise look like they've been worn a couple times mm -hmm. is a great deal because these are probably $50 new. So, yeah. Um, these are naturalizer. I don't pick up all naturalizer, but these were a nice classic velvet black flat um, and they look unworn. So, mm -hmm. I think I can get around $30 plus shipping out of those. And these I picked up just because they were new with tag. They are kid size um, two youth i didn't really say sizes on these just in case anybody was looking the Merrill barefoots are nine women's the kids are a one and a half youth the naturalizer are a nine and a half narrow and then yeah so these i didn't really look up comps i mean most cleats even in pre-owned condition i get around 20 plus ship i'm gonna say 25 to 30 plus ship but yeah i could be off we don't do a ton of cleats. You know, we'll probably, we'll, we're pretty select. She's pretty selective. They have on. to be very cheap to yeah. begin with. Kids ones actually, to me, do better than like the adult ones. Right. But, um, definitely. Cheap, really good condition. Them, yeah. yeah. I don't even know what these are. These look like an, maybe indoor soccer. Like, look at that bottom. Oh, yeah. Maybe like an, an a turf. turf. Yeah, the so. astro turf stuff. Yeah, they look different than other cleats. Right, and I got these towels. I like selling that brand. Um, I don't find it a super lot, but when I do it sells, look at this. That's what you need in your shoes. Like, look how. The arch, yeah. Yeah, that is a nice big arch. So. Yeah, I have re yeah, if you really flat kind of feet. Stuff, this is a great I need brand arch support. for that type mm -hmm. of a thing. So these look pretty much unworn. I mean, they are they look faded, but that's like how they're supposed to look. So mm -hmm. these are a women's size 10. And yeah, just nice classic, like kind of tannish, beige-ish color that pretty much matches with anything. I think I can get 35 to 40 plus shipping out of those, honestly. Um, they retail over 100. They look almost new. Okay. Um, these are L.L. Bean. Honestly, the comps on these were not great, but I just really like L.L. Bean, and I loved the pattern on the inside. So, <laughs> you know, 
That's why you should definitely buy shoes to resell. <laughs> Just kidding. So, uh, don't take my advice. These, I, I think I'll make money. Well, well let's see. <laughs> I know I'm going to make money, but um, yeah, yeah, probably not the biggest flip here. Right. But yeah, these are men's 13. They're in really great shape. I mean, there's some like... I'll just peel that off, but mm -hmm. otherwise look like they've been worn once or twice. I think it's perfectly acceptable to resell some things that you'd like reselling, even if you're not making as much <laughs> as you want to make, right? Like, I like you got to make it fun. Yeah. It's If you're just selling just for profit, it gets boring and, you know, you're not going to do it forever. If you got to do some fun stuff in there. Yep. This was a new to me brand. Um, when I first saw them, I was like, oh, those look like Golden Goose. Like, I, in my head, I'm like, I know these are not Golden Goose, but... They reminded me of that kind of like style. So if you don't know what Golden Goose is, go Google it. It's like a, it's a shoe that looks kind of like this and it's made to look worn. Intentionally distressed yeah, so and like, dirty. But and... they're like 500 plus dollars <laughs> new. Yeah. So anyways, if you ever find those, you're looking at a good flip, but <laughs> there's so many fakes. I don't even know if I'd trust myself if I did find one Yeah. that it was real. I'd have to get it authenticated. But yeah, this reminded me of it. It had Vibram soles. It feels like really heavy and just the leather feels really nice. So had to look them up and yeah, comps were pretty good. Uh, and a lot of people messaged me on Instagram saying they've sold it for over a hundred dollars wow. pretty own. So I don't know if I'm gonna get that much. They definitely need a little wipe down, but overall good shape. They're size 39. So like probably a women's eight and a half or something like that. I, it's weird because, you know, you think that every brand 39 would be the same, but it's not. So right. it's usually in the eight to nine women's. So something around there. My faves. Some shape ups. <laughs> um, speaking of, the guy that bought my shape ups, um, global shipping a couple weeks ago, the $150 plus oh, yeah. or whatever, mm -hmm. he messaged me. He got them. He's like, love them. Great. And then he asked if, I don't know if this is a scam, so I'm, I'm probably just going to ignore the message. But I feel like I've seen somebody else get this exact message, but from a different person. Right. Recently, somewhere on Instagram, I don't know who. But anyways, the guy was like, thank you for shipping. Global shipping went well. He only has three feedbacks, so mm -hmm. it's just kind of sketching me out. But anyways, he's like, there's two other pairs I really want on eBay, but the those sellers are not offering global shipping. Mm -hmm. And he wants me to buy those two shoes. So that means I'd have to buy them, get them shipped to my house here, and then he wants to buy them from me through global shipping. Upchart, yeah. He said he'd pay an additional thirty to forty dollars per pair, which I mean he paid hundred fifty plus shipping for my first <laughs> pair. So it's not like I don't believe him, but like I'm not gonna do it just because that's just yeah. weird. But and sketchy, <laughs> I don't know. But it is kind of. I, I I do understand. Like it's harder to get things in other countries. I don't remember where he was from. I mean, I think Norway, Germany. Germany yeah. yeah, I understand. It's a lot harder to get things that you want in other countries than in the U.S. Yeah. We are kind of spoiled here. We can yeah. pretty much get whatever we want whenever we want. Um, and I understand that, but it is kind of weird. Like we we're gonna. We're gonna ignore it, right? Because yeah. I mean, if it was like a viewer or someone I've had a relationship had with, like a relation, then I yeah, would definitely probably do it. But yeah, it, it's it's weird to just out of the blue ask somebody. Because then, what if he doesn't buy them? I can't. Uh, I bought them from eBay from somebody, and then I'm stuck yeah. with them. Right. Probably not gonna be able to get my money back. Yeah. So that's the reason I'm not doing it. But. Right. <laughs> Plus, it just seems weird. It's also out of our normal day-to-day yeah. -day stuff, so it's just going to take longer yeah. for us to get it all figured. It's just not really worth it for us. So yeah. even though he's offering, you know, 40 bucks, but that's, again, what if he doesn't pay? Just then, trust your gut. If it feels yeah. weird, it's probably weird. <laughs> <laughs> so but, yeah. unfortunately, uh, I don't know your name. I don't know if you watch us or whatever, I but, um, you know, I hope you get shoes that you want, <laughs> but it, we're just we're yeah. just not really interested the in The ones I sent that. him were brand new. I mean, I'm assuming they're for his and so those will last at least a while brand new shape ups and yeah. hopefully by the time he wears down on them that someone else that is doing global shipping has a pair in his size so yeah all right these ones are men's eight and a half um obviously not going to sell for that much these are pre-owned they got some yellowing going on and stuff but otherwise decent shape um some kids nikes these will probably sell 25 to 30 plus ship they're a youth three this is probably the time of the day, if not these. So, yeah, I'm not sure what those will do, but these Sorrells usually sell for 80 to 100, I'd say, plus shipping. I think these are the Lexi Wedge. So, Sorrell has their numbers all right here on the tag. So, if you don't know, like, the model, you can just type in okay. these numbers in Google, and it pulls up the exact thing. Are those considered a hidden wedge, or...? Um, 
I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> is it made to look like there? It's I not mean, a wedge. Is, I don't know. It's kind of hard to it's tell. It's obviously hidden, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I'd use that as a keyword. Okay. But yeah. So those were cool. Oh, these are women's eight and a half. I think I said all the sizes. All right, then I went. That was the only arc. No, that wasn't arc. That was good one. I think I've been through two bags because some of these stickers are from ARC. Mm. I went to three Goodwills in one ARC. So. Okay. Um, these are some men's Nike Air Force One, all black, high top. I think these were a size 13. Really good shape, but they did have them priced at $22, but I did look up comps, and they're still selling for a good amount, and the sell-through was really good, so I still grabbed them. I do not like paying that much, but sometimes it's worth it. Yeah. These were the most expensive thing, $26.99. These were North Face men's Gore-Tex snow boots. So even at that price, I am confident I can double my money in like the next 30 days. So okay. to me, that's worth it, depending on your business model or whatnot. Right. It might not be, but this is something I'm like 100% sure is going to sell. Maybe not sell within 30 days, like I said. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm confident it will, but... Even if it doesn't, I'm okay being out $27 until it does sell. Mm -hmm. And I'm confident it will sell. Um, I've sold several men's North Face boots, even without the Gore-Tex, for mm -hmm. $60 to $70. So. Right. Anyways, those are a men's 11 and a half, so good size. They just need a little wipe down, but otherwise, um, like, the soles are really good and everything. So. Yeah, it's like you'll, you're definitely not going to lose money. Worst case scenario, you'll you'll at least it's break even, make a little bit of money. Right. You don't know. Right. That's the little bit of a gamble there, but yeah, you're not like, losing money. It's hard because those, you know, normally I'm willing to accept offers, but those I definitely have to hold out for at least the yeah. 60 plus shipping probably, which it just might take longer. Yeah. So uh, these are the Drew, like diabetic men's shoes. Um, one missing one insole so i'll probably take out the other insole and just sell them at without yeah these are half off so they were only 550 and i usually get anywhere from like 30 to 50 dollars plus shipping on these all right all right so this was the last stop of the night and it was literally like 9 p.m they're like five minutes left come check out mm -hmm. and i really was doing really good not looking at clothes and i didn't look at clothes but on the you know, when you're checking out, there's usually a rack in case you want to put something back. Yeah. So, I always like to look at those racks because sometimes people put some good stuff back. So I did find these on there. Um, they're Boy Scout, um, but they're women's, like Boy Scout. Okay. It's like a nylon, like camping, hiking pant, I guess. Troop leader pants or something. Yeah, and they have the zip-offs. So um, comps on these were like $35 plus ship. I didn't even look up comps in the store, but... When I got home, I did. I just knew that they they were only priced at five ninety nine. I knew I could make something off of them. Yeah. And then this was also on that rack. It's a super nice five eleven tactical like flannel. So I never even knew they made anything like this. Oh, we got a sale. Made a sale. So yeah, I didn't even look up comps on this. I just knew it would do well. I think it was seven ninety nine, but okay. Oh. Maybe a bundle or yeah, something? I think that sounds like a bundle. <laughs> which then makes me feel like it's a viewer, so we'll find out. But Yeah, we'll finish showing this stuff off, and um, I keep seeing the email pop-ups on my phone, so. <laughs> All right. Um, so these are Mephisto. That's a really good brand to look out for. Let's see if I can show you the... I don't know if that's really visible, but... You can see a little bit, yeah. That tag's usually on their shoe somewhere, um, but yeah. Their shoes don't ever look that cute, but they retail for a lot. They are nice quality, um, but they resell really well, so I always pick them up. Oh, these are women's. Um, oh, they actually have U.S. sizing, so they say U.S. 9 on those. Oh, nice. Uh, these are the New Balance 990s. I have... So I was excited to find those. I know that's, like, I think one of the better new balances right now um these are just kids obviously right. but i think the men's ones of the 990s are going like 100 plus so okay definitely be on the lookout for the, that model new balance at least right now but i think even the kids ones are going for 30 to 40 so okay i'm kind of excited to try those out there kids like toddler 12 these are dance go um size 39 
Like the soles look great, but like the leather does have some markings, which I mean, I think adds character, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Overall great shape on those. Those usually go for 40 to 50 plus shipping. Uh, another pair of Keens. These are a women's uh, eight and a half and probably 35, 40 plus shipping off of those. Another pair of dance goes. These are Mary Jane. I've never sold this style. I'm gonna say 35 or so plus shipping is probably what I'll get out of those. What size were those? Oh, these are a 39. Okay. Uh, another pair of Mephisto, although these say all rounder by Mephisto, so maybe just like a diversion line, like a, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit of a cheaper line, but. These remind me of those Echo, the Yucca Tan sandals or whatever, yeah, yeah. those sell really good. So I'm gonna try those out. These are a size, I don't always look at sizes at the thrift unless this <laughs> shoe looks really small and then I'm like, oh, it's a six or less, I probably get a pass. These are 39. Uh, this is a brand that does well for me when I find it, but I don't find it a lot, the N-A-O-T, Naote, or mm -hmm. I don't really know how you say that. Another size 39, I think I can get 35 to 40 plus ship out of those. Uh, these are some Skechers flats, kind of like a gray beige color. These are a women's six, but they were like in really good shape. So I grabbed them, probably get 25 to 30 plus ship out of those. Um, these are another pair of dance goes. I mean, mostly good shape. They could probably use some like Wonder Balsam on those, but yeah. Uh, 39, size 30, a lot of size 39, so. I wonder if they were all from yeah, maybe the maybe. same person. <laughs> this was the same store, so. Yeah. Uh, I love thrifting at like late at night. Like nobody was there and yeah, the store might be already picked over, but I still found a ton of stuff. Yeah, you did. I, I found 39 pairs of shoes in three hours, plus these two clothings. Yeah. And this was me being picky on shoes. There was lots of shoes I could have picked up if I wanted to do more cleaning or pay more out of pocket. Right. Um, but I didn't. So. Yeah, and you showed all that in your Instagram stories yeah, and, and stuff. Yeah, and like I already, I actually photographed that whole rack of shoes today. So those are getting listed tonight, but I was like, I already have a lot at home to do, so I don't need, <laughs> I wanted to get the thrift. Easy out to look, yeah. The, the I'm not thrifting out of your system. I'm not desperate for like inventory, you know what I mean? <laughs> right. All right, these are women's eight and a half. These are like a Skechers. I've done well with these, although all the ones I've sold were the just plain black but kind of like a knit, like a Rothy. Mm -hmm. So I think people think those are comfy and buy them. These, it's got kind of a cool retro feel to it for some reason. Yeah, these I think I'm just keeping for my kid. I didn't even show these on Instagram. Okay. They're a little beat up, but they were five bucks. They're just some like cute little Adidas and that way they can wear those to school and ruin them and I won't feel sad. <laughs> So these are a small size, but because these are such a nice shoe, I grabbed them anyways. They're a women's five and a half, but they're keen. They feel like a hard toe, which is cool. Okay. But yeah, small size, but they were only priced at $12.99. So they look like they were probably worn one time. Yeah. And they might take a while to sell, but when they do, it should be a nice little profit. Ew. <laughs> There's like some hair on them. <laughs> Great shape minus hair hanging yeah, off we'll, the bottoms. <laughs> we could pull, we could pick the hair off. <laughs> All right. Um, you guys are gonna see this video today, the day that we're recording it, <laughs> but I'm not gonna have these shoes up for a few days. Yeah. So yeah. if you see something you like, just check back in a few days because <laughs> like it gets crazy when people. A lot of people sometimes want the same thing and then I feel yeah. horrible. <laughs> so just check my eBay store. That's where I always list first and then usually cross post a day or so later. So um, yeah, these are by Onyx, women's size 11, really good shape. Probably will sell around $40 plus shipping. Huh. All right, these are A6 um, and these are women's size eight. I was gonna say these are the gel. The gel ones are normally the ones I pick up, but these are not a gel model, but okay. yeah, I still picked them up. They're in really good shape. Um, yeah, I don't know. These laces are interesting. I'm assuming they were added aftermarket, but. Okay. Maybe aftermarket like running shoe laces. Yeah. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. This has to be a viewer, right? <laughs> um, we don't get that many sales from one person. Right, that was three. That's definitely a bundle, like that sound, that the way that it came in all together. It's right. The same a three item bundle. buying something. Right. Uh, all right, um, Sam Edelman. Don't pick up all Sam Edelman. These were in like perfect condition. So 
So I did. They're just like a snakeskin leather and they're size uh, eight. So okay. probably $30 or so plus shipping on those. These type of Adidas sell great for me really fast, usually in a day or two. These are women's eight. Um, the black ones especially sell really good, but I still pick them all up. Uh, these are interesting. I've never seen a pair of Adidas, like, or not Adidas, Reeboks like this, but they were in like perfect condition. Hmm. So I looked them up and I grabbed them. The comps I think were pretty good, like 50 to 60 plus shipping, I wanna say. So yeah, I'm excited to try those out. I don't remember what the model was called, but. What are they, like a, a running or a CrossFit or something? I think they were called Ziggs something or other, but. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, a little more research needed. A fashion sneaker, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Are you able to insert a like little TikTok video, not a reel, in our video or no? <laughs> I mean, it depends on the so style. So I bought so. these because I um, saw somebody on Instagram the other day showing that they burn off the fuzz on oh, shoes, yeah, the yeah. extra fuzz. So, like, I normally would have passed on these, but I just have to try that. So, <laughs> I don't know. Do we have, should I try it right now? I have a lighter right there. Sure. <laughs> should I get a fire extinguisher ready just in case? Should I do this one <laughs> or the small one? Um, I'd probably do the longer one so you're not burning your finger. <laughs> So, basically, I mean, we've done this with clothing in the past. Like, if it has some random loose strings, Chris will, like, burn it off. And yeah. I always thought that was weird, but I never thought to do it for shoes. But, yeah, her reel was just, like, showing that you literally can just, like, burn off all the excess. It looks like it is working. So, I had to try it, and I'll still make a little money off these. Probably not as much as I would like, but... Totally worth trying this out <laughs> for. Uh, so, yeah. Buying shoes just to catch them on fire. They're in good shape. <laughs> so, these are Adidas Sambas. They're a men's six, so it could also be like a youth six. You want to hold those side by side so we could maybe see a, uh, any difference? <laughs> it almost doesn't look that different. I do feel like it did a little, but. Yeah. It probably needs, we could probably do it yeah. a little bit more just off camera, but. I'm like just afraid of getting the like. Yeah, don't hit the rubber. Yeah. Or the laces. I can see it working though, so it's. Uh, yeah, it's pretty. A cool. cool little hack trick, I guess. Yeah. If you got like a suede. Maybe even color it in with sharpie now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, so. <laughs> All right. I still think I can get twenty-five to thirty dollars plus shipping out of those Adidas. Um, these are Echo Flats. I don't find the flats very often, but these are a size 41, so probably like a 10 women's. These I might keep for myself, although I'll probably list them. But they're just some bear paw, like slippers, moccasin slippers. I just love slippers, obviously. I wear them every day. So. <laughs> I'm tripping over them every day, too. Now <laughs> well, I have to have them everywhere. I have some upstairs, downstairs, in our room. I mean, you could just, like, like I don't know, leave them on your feet. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, these are Sven. Um, just some black suede clogs. Really good shape. Honestly, don't even look worn. I did look them up, but I don't remember. But I feel like comps were really good on these, so... Excited about those. We actually have another pair of plugs downstairs that Chris was, they needed some wood filler in the ankles and he did that. And I feel that I just haven't sanded them, them down, yeah. I need to get those listed because those would be great sellers too. Um, these are Saucony, really good shape. Just need a little wiping on the rubber and part, so. Yeah. These are a men's 12. And I feel like comps on these were like, again, around $50, I wanna say. Okay. So, um, I don't always pick up Converse, but this store, my price, the prices were really good. Um, my average cost of goods for the 14 pairs I found at this store came out to like $9.95. So, I'll pay under $10 for Converse for like, especially like men's, um, but not like kids. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe women's if it's a cool pattern or something. But I do like, I feel like green's a good color, and these are men's size, and well, I think these could be men's or women's. Uh, women's 11 or men's 9, so yeah. Okay. So, um, St. Patty's Day is coming up. <laughs> if anyone needs 
but yeah, uh, I also, I don't like high tops, like, for my kids and myself to wear, but I do feel like the high top ones do well whenever I sell them, so. It's a, those are definitely green. That's yeah. a cool green, though. I like that. Yep. I would never wear it. <laughs> I can't stand wearing shoes like that. <laughs> I need my my old man support. <laughs> I probably should have passed on these due to size because they're actually a men's six and a half, which is a very small size, but I might convert them to also women's and put both sizes mm. in the title. Maybe a but, youth, so? Yeah, I mean, they could also be a youth six and a half then. It's just, just like not as much. You don't sell, sell as much. much. Yeah, but I still think these will sell for around thirty plus shipping, no matter what category I put them in. But yeah, okay. And they were in good shape, so I got them. Um, I didn't look at pumps on these, but any Mizuno Wave Riders I've sold in the past have done really well. At least forty, maybe quite a bit more. We'll see. Really good shape, though. Yeah. Um, but yeah. And last pair yeah last pair these are a6 with the gel so this is what i mean by like the gel oh gotcha um i've almost stopped picking up a6 for a while well i did kind of but the gel ones seem to sell quicker and for a little more money um i still pick up any a6 if they're like cheap but i used to pick them up for like up to 10 bucks and now i'm like i'm only getting like 25 to 30 so it's just yeah. not quite as good but these have the gel, they're in like great shape, and they were a larger size, a women's 10. So yeah, those should probably do 30 to 35 plus shipping. So. Sweet. So we got- Got a lot of shoes. A lot so of shoes to get gonna, listed uh, after process. you got, you gotta get those ones listed first. You got those all processed already. Yeah, so those should get listed tonight. And then again, tomorrow our kids will be at school. So yeah. I might try to list as much as I can of these tomorrow before I even bag any of those. Cause they're not really in the way i mean i'd like to get them put away but i'd also yeah. like to since we've been slacking on actual listings for the last two weeks because of break and holidays yeah. uh, i'd like to get my store back up i think i'm down to like 850 listings which is just too low right <laughs> so so we got these couple sales that came in so let's pull you want to pull those on camera or okay. figure it out and then maybe oh, come back. It might be hard if it's too many to like. Okay, yeah, we'll figure it all out <laughs> and we'll be right back with you guys. We'll get them all packed up. And I'm sure they were a viewers, both of them viewers, or I guess all five. I don't know how many came in, <laughs> but we'll get it all figured out and then we'll be right back. All right, guys. So we went ahead and just picked all those items. It was what, six items that came through. Yeah. And we're 99% <laughs> sure it's yeah, a viewer. They, they didn't they, leave any message. Yeah, or anything, they didn't but. leave a message, but I mean. I don't think anywhere the <laughs> right. person's going through buying six things. So, uh, oh, I didn't print the label. So I didn't get Oops. your name yet. Um, going out to Justine. Justine, we suspect you're a viewer. We do appreciate this <laughs> yeah. purchase. All right. And so, and she bought a peak tea and a United by Blue button down shirt, a childhood hoodie, no time. This is my favorite, like one of my favorite blues that Childhood is makes. Mm. And I, so I thought I was like, yeah, I'm getting it. Cause I bought this off Kid is in for like <laughs> five bucks under retail and it was still new with tag. And I was like, yes, I'm getting a steal. And then I realized I still have the same, we, we I already have this hoodie in this size. Like I thought I didn't have this size, but I did. So that was sad. Well, sad for me. Hopefully not sad for you. It's a really good blue. Yeah, new with tag. Um, and then this Old Navy Happy Camper S'mores hoodie. Uh, and then this is childhood again, some pants, and then quick silver shorts. So, so yeah, I just bought these total for eighty-eight thirty-eight and plus shipping. So we're well, gonna get those shipped out to you today. Thank you so much. Sweet. Yeah, and that one Poshmark did reach over the yes. two or three hour limit. So yeah, and if you're not sure on the time, if you go click the little buttons, I'm, I don't think most people do this. I do just because I'm like paranoid. Because <laughs> sometimes, like even if it doesn't scan. Anyways, well, there's not going to be any buttons left, but if you go into an order screen, there'll be like the three little check, check box boxes. things. And if you check, if you try to check the boxes on something that has not been three hours, it won't let you. It'll just pop up saying this buyer can cancel up to three hours if they choose. So, okay. But so you go in, try once it. It's past three hours. It'll let you automatically do it. So yeah, I did it and it went through. So it's been three hours. <laughs> All right. So 
that is what's going out today and what Kathy found last night. This video, we kind of thought this video was going to be a little bit shorter when we started recording, but ended up being one of our longer videos. So hopefully that's not a problem. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. If you have made it this far, if you haven't subscribed by now, please do hit that subscribe button. We do videos like this all the time. And yeah, tomorrow we're going to be um, maybe doing a little bit of a diff different kind of video format. So I'm excited about it. Kathy's excited about it. We're going to mix things up a little bit. And that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the amazing support from our viewers who've purchased and bought us coffees. We do appreciate all that. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.